What's up guys, my name is Zach Levin, and today I'm going to be telling you everything that you ever want to know about the PEG 37. This is the new Pegasus shoe in the Nike lineup, and everybody's stoked to hear about it. I've had it for a couple days now, I've been able to run about 40 or 50 miles in them, and my friend Steph sent me some really interesting information on the shoe that I've not seen anywhere else. So I'm going to start out by telling you exactly what she told me. Then I'm going to be showing you the shoe and kind of breaking down the design in my opinion and what I've seen so far. And then I'll be giving you my opinion after about 40 to 50 miles in the shoe. Just a quick first impressions of this shoe. Let's make this happen. Boom! But first I, I just need to tease this shoe. I mean it is so so beautiful. Okay, so let's start out with the fun facts. So basically, I was sent these shoes early. I was sent these shoes by Nike. So thank you, Nike, for sending me these shoes. It means a lot to me. Thank you, Steph. This is incredible to get these early and be able to talk about them for you guys. But first off, what's new? Designers of the Pegasus transitioned from full-length zoom airbag to four-foot zoom airbag. The four-foot is where you rebound from the ground and you need the airbag the most. The bag is twice as thick as a Pegasus 36 Zoom airbag, offering more energy return. Kinda feels a bit alpha fly to me, but I'm um... <laughs> The team top loaded the Nike Air Zoom technology into React Foam for the midsole. React Foam is lighter, more responsive, and more durable than the previous Cushlon Foam. Fun fact. Next up, the translucent upper gives the shoe a lightweight, feather-like look. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not a lie, look at that. An updated midfoot enables fit band to secure your foot. That's pretty cool. Um, and it does actually feel super, super secure on my foot so far. The color shift across the lateral side of the shoe highlights the placement of the zoom airbag in the forefoot. The silhouette maintains a heel collar that tapers away from the Achilles tendon, a design influenced by direct athlete feedback. That actually is a really, really good point. I really love this in the Pegasus because I actually have many, many, many Achilles issues. It just like takes off so much pressure from the tendon and it makes sure that you're not getting rubbed the wrong way and if you've had Achilles issues, you'll know this is actually really important and pretty helpful. The familiar waffle rubber outsole helps provide trusted durability. Okay, so now it is time to kind of take a look at this shoe and break it down for you because I feel like a lot of people like to look at this shoe and so here it is. The first thing that stood out to me was this tongue. As you can see, it's like a V. It's, it's really made to go around the neck of your of your ankle. Here, I'll, I'll show you. Fits perfectly right around there. And you know where you've probably seen this? Let me show you. <sighs> On this shoe. Basically, if you've never seen it before, it literally does the exact same thing. This is the right shoe, boom. This is the right shoe, boom. <laughs> it's actually doing things right here. It's actually fitting around it. It's a really nice contour and it's just a small piece of design that it just makes it a little bit more comfortable in my opinion and allows your ankle to flex better and it's pretty cool that they include it in this shoe. Next, the upper is very similar to most Pegasus I've seen before and it's really similar to the 36 and the 35 but also it kind of takes that feathering, as it said, um, from what looks to be the Peg Turbo 2 question mark. I don't really know, but the upper is thick. There's like a lot of different layers, but I've never felt like it's too warm. It just feels like it's well made. You can definitely rub the inside and outside and have layers rubbing up against each other, but there is no longer the fly wire running through it because they replaced the fly wire eye holder, saw shoe, lace holder things with these guys. So that's kind of the upper. But this is where another interesting feature that comes from the next percent comes in. This may be really small, but if you look at the toe, this rubber piece is coming up off at an angle. Usually it'll come right over the top of the shoe, but this one's coming over this way. And that may seem a little weird, but you can see that exact same design right here. Because when you toe off, you're not towing off from the middle of your foot usually, it's usually off of your toe, your big toe, and so this is like right where your big toe is. So it's kind of just placing the rubber in the right place for your foot. Other than that, the outsole is really, really classic. It has these two rails running along towards the back, and then this more, more like gritty, nubby, normal Pegasus looking bottom. One thing to note is that it does look really narrow in my opinion, especially compared to an Infinity React. I've been running a lot in these and so this is such a wide foot in comparison to this. Not to say that either is better necessarily, but it was interesting coming from the Infinity React. The next part I want to talk about in design is, is just the fact that Look at this, look at this midsole. I feel like it really looks like a Zoom Fly 
kind of type. Honestly, it's kind of like the Zoomfly, Vaporfly, and Pegasus set of baby. And this is what it turned out to be. But also the Infinity React must have come into that puzzle as well because they took the React foam and put it into these shoes. This is something that Nike seems to be doing a ton recently. And honestly, I love React foam. So it's really cool to see that they've replaced the Cushlon with React foam. This is a little bit of a more dense React foam, I would say. But it is definitely cushioned, definitely comfortable. It's a really nice shoe. So... Now for, uh, now for my experience in the shoe. I've probably run 40 to 50 miles in this shoe, which is not a ton, but it's enough to understand what the shoe is about. First off with these shoes, they're gonna be softer than your Peg 36s, your Peg 35s, and any other Pegasus you've ever had. But there is like a little bit of give and then a little bit of pop, and it's a really great sensation. It's a pretty responsive shoe, it's pretty soft, I never felt like I was just beating up my legs on it at all. I like to call them like the generic shoe. If somebody's new to running, be like, get a Pegasus. There's no flares, there's nothing crazy special to it. It's just a great all around shoe. It's not an insult to say that it's just, there's no flares. It's great that it has no flares because that means there's no gimmicks. It's just a straight up great shoe. My second point about this shoe after running it for 40 or 50 miles is that the upper will lock you in. If you've been running in the Infinity Reacts or probably any other shoe. This shoe has great lockdown. I feel like my foot is really locked down, although my heel almost feels like it's gonna slip out, but you get used to that sensation pretty quickly and you forget that that's even a sensation. But the reason you feel that way is because the heel counter kind of does swoop out, as they say, but it helps relieve a lot of stress on the Achilles. And for me, that's been super, super beneficial because I've been dealing with a little bit of nagging Achilles stuff and I've been working through it, but these shoes have really been helping me kind of get through that because this is very substantial for somebody with Achilles issues. Um, other than that, I don't really know what more to say. It's a great looking shoe gets the job done, and it's an evolution in the Pegasus line. I think it's a step in the right direction. I think it's another great step for Nike. And I'm not saying this because Nike sent these to me. I'm genuinely saying this because I've always loved Pegasus, and I think they're great shoes. Just such a staple in the running community, in my opinion. And all the time people say, like, you're sponsored by Nike, you, you're, you're biased, all this stuff. It, and I'm not sponsored by Nike. Nike is not paying me to make this video. I genuinely think that Nike is pushing the boundary on most fronts in the running community. I think that they are putting out some of the best shoes on the entire market. And that's why I keep talking about Nike shoes because they're literally doing something that's so special. And I want to be here to document the best shoes. And I'm not going to be talking about the worst shoe to buy in 2020 because I don't want anybody to buy that shoe. I'm talking about the best shoes in my opinion, the shoes that I think that people should be looking at. And the Peg 37 is definitely going to be one of those shoes in 2020. So this is my first impression. I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Hope you got some facts that you haven't seen anywhere else. But for today, that is all. So if you enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to me. Drop a like so this can help it do better in the algorithm or something like that. And I'll see you guys later. As usual, live happy, be healthy, and have a great day.